Good evening everyone and a very warm welcome to our Year 9 Virtual Pathways evening. My name is Mr Heatherton and one of my roles within the school is to manage the Pathways process and the transition of students from Year 9 into Year 10. Year 9 marks a very important stage in your child's education. It is the year where they begin to make choices about the subjects that they will study in Key Stage 4, that is Year 10 and Year 11. Before half term, Year 9 were introduced to the Pathways process both in their PSHE lessons and in a Year 9 virtual assembly. Our Year 9 Pathways booklet was shared with you on our website and in addition to this, you should have received a letter from me introducing the Pathways process along with a copy of your child's provisional Pathway Choices form. This half term, Year 9 have already attended a series of virtual Pathway assemblies where numerous subject leaders have had the opportunity to provide more information on the content of their subject at GCSE and how it is assessed. The purpose of my presentation this evening is to provide you with the national context within which the Year 9 Pathways process has been organised. This includes an overview of performance table measures that we as a school need to understand and how GCSEs are now graded. The second part of my presentation this evening focuses on Bishop Challoner's context and the rationale behind our Pathways process. The Pathways process at Bishop Challoner is about you and your child gathering information on the range of different subjects on offer and then selecting subjects that are best suited to your child. There is no need to be worried or concerned about the next few weeks as we will offer you and your child support with this and help you both make informed and sensible subject choices. The recent reforms in education policy at Key Stage 4 have affected all secondary schools throughout the country. The main reforms include the introduction of the English Baccalaureate, a school performance measure designed to encourage schools to offer a broad set of academic subjects to the age of 16. The introduction of Progress 8, another school performance measure based on the progress students make in a suite of eight subjects. It is the key measure of a school's performance at Key Stage 4. The complete replacement of the A star to G GCSE grading system with a numerical format 9 to 1. There is now greater rigour in GCSEs and vocational GCSE qualifications. This has been achieved by removing controlled assessment and replacing it with written examinations. As such, it is very important that Year 9 students spend some time thinking very carefully about subject choices in Year 10 and Year 11. The English Baccalaureate is not a qualification in itself. It reflects achievement in a range of broad-based academic qualifications at GCSE. The English Baccalaureate is awarded to pupils with good GCSE passes, i.e. grade 5 and above, in English, Mathematics, Two Sciences, a Modern Foreign Language and Geography or History. Crucially for all secondary schools, the proportion of pupils in a year group achieving the English Baccalaureate is and will continue to be one measure in school performance tables. This is something that all secondary schools must consider when designing their Key Stage 4 curriculum, which is why the national context is such an important consideration for us. The Progress 8 measure is of great significance to all secondary schools today. It is a performance measure based on the progress students make in a suite of eight subjects. It is the key measure of a school's performance at Key Stage 4. The following subjects are included in the Progress 8 measure. Two GCSEs in English and Mathematics. Three additional English Baccalaureate subjects from Sciences, Computing, Geography, History and Modern Foreign Languages. Combined science will count as two of the three English Baccalaureate subjects. Three additional subjects that can be taken up by further qualifications from the range of English Baccalaureate subjects or any other high value arts, academic or vocational qualification. Examples include art and design, business, BTEC sport, BTEC health and social care and creative eye media.
This slide provides a comparison between the new numerical grading format at GCSE with the legacy A star to G grading system used. A grade 4 at GCSE is considered to be a standard pass, whereas a grade 5 is considered to be a good or a strong pass. Numerical GCSE grades in the range 4 to 6 are approximately equivalent to legacy grades C to B. Numerical GCSE grades in the range 7 to 9 are approximately equivalent to legacy grades A to A star. Numerical GCSE grades in the range 1 to 3 are approximately equivalent to legacy grades D to G. Undoubtedly, the national context within which secondary schools operate is very important and provides clear guidance to schools when deciding on an appropriate Key Stage 4 curriculum offer. However, of more importance is our own context and the rationale behind the decisions we make as senior leaders in the school when deciding on what we believe is the most appropriate curriculum offer for our students. This slide is perhaps the most important one in my presentation this evening. Our central philosophy has always been to provide as far as possible a varied and relevant curriculum that recognises the national context. At Bishop Chaloner, we remain totally committed to serving the interests of all of our students. We do this by developing our pathway structure. We firmly believe that more than one pathway allows us to provide flexibility in our curriculum provision to meet the needs of all students. We are convinced that this personalised approach allows every student in our care the opportunity to succeed in years 10 and year 11. Although we have great faith in the way we organise and plan our curriculum offer at Key Stage 4, does our pathway philosophy work? This slide provides a snapshot of our Progress 8 score in 2019. We do not have the Progress 8 score for 2020 as a result of GCSE examinations being cancelled last summer. Our Progress 8 score of 0.59 tells us that on average our Year 11 students in 2019 achieved three-fifths of a GCSE grade higher than similar students nationally. These results are considered to be well above average and in 2019 puts us in the top 14% of secondary schools in England and well above the average Progress 8 score in Birmingham schools in 2019. We are extremely proud of the results our Year 11 students achieve each year. There are very strong working relationships between staff and students, both as a result of extremely hard work and a well-planned, thought-through and personalised curriculum offer. Key features of the Year 9 Pathways process for 2021 include Every student in Year 9 will follow a particular guided pathway. There are three guided pathways red, blue and green. The guided pathway that students will follow will be determined by the academic progress made during Key Stage 3, that is up until the end of Year 9. As such, it is possible that a guided pathway may change between our virtual pathways evening this evening and the end of this academic year. You may be curious to know why we have more than one pathway. The guided pathways at Bishop Chaloner reflect the diverse and changing employment and career opportunities available to young people today. One pathway does not suit the needs of all students. Having more than one pathway allows us to provide flexibility in curriculum provision at Key Stage 4 and to ensure that our students follow a programme of study in Year 10 and Year 11 that will allow them to succeed and progress into post-16 education, be it in our sixth form or elsewhere. The red guided pathway is for students who will be required to study a modern foreign language as well as geography or history or both. Students in the red pathway will then be required to select either one or more other subjects from an available range. The blue guided pathway is for students who will not be required to study a modern foreign language. Within the blue pathway Students will be required to study geography or history, 
and then select either two or three other subjects from an available range. The green guided pathway is for students who will be required to select up to four subjects from an available range. In deciding on the most appropriate pathway for your child at this stage of their Key Stage 3 journey, we have used the following key pieces of information. We have information relating to your child's Key Stage 2 SAT scores, which act as a key prior attainment measure from Year 6. We have data from the Periodic 1 assessments that took place in December of Year 7. We have data from the Periodic 2 assessments that took place in June of Year 7. We now have data from the Periodic 3 assessments that took place in the autumn term of Year 9. We have a wealth of data that tracks the progress and ability of pupils throughout Key Stage 3. However, are the guided pathways set in stone now? The answer to that question is no, and I will explore this in the next slide. There is scope for students in Year 9 to move pathway. The academic year does not finish until July, and it is quite possible that the pathway a student is currently on can change. In what circumstances could a pathway change? Key assessments will take place in the summer term of Year 9 and mark the end of a student's journey through Key Stage 3 at Bishop Chaloner. The results of these assessments will be reviewed with the head of Year 9 and the heads of English, Science and French. Any changes to pathways may be made then. If this is the recommendation at the time, then students and parent carers will be informed. Nonetheless, it is important to remember that we do already have a lot of information on the range of abilities within Year 9. Our guided pathways are designed to reflect the wide range of abilities and needs within the year group. This is why we have more than one pathway, as we consider it essential in ensuring that all of our students have the opportunity to be successful in Key Stage 4, allowing them all to secure appropriate qualifications that ensure they can progress beyond 16. This slide highlights the wide range of choice available to Year 9 that covers many different subject areas. There are up to 16 different subjects to choose from. The choices available to your child combine a mix of GCSE and vocational GCSE subjects. Specific details for each of these subjects are contained within the Year 9 Pathways booklet which is on the school website for you to look at. Please refer closely to this booklet as this is a very important source of information for you and your child when deciding on a final subject choice selection. Reading the information contained within the Pathways booklet is an essential part of the information gathering process. Having listened to this presentation this evening, it is very important that you continue to discuss Pathway choices together and read your Pathway Choices form very carefully. If necessary, please contact the relevant Head of Department for more details using the Contacts page in the Pathways booklet. Please do this if you have any subject-specific questions. Ms McGowan is our Careers Advisor. If you have any questions relating to careers, apprenticeships or post-16 learning pathways, please do not hesitate to contact her too. Please complete the Provisional Pathway Choice form and hand it in no later than Monday the 15th of March. Details on the precise arrangements for collecting forms will follow. I will then do my best to match individual option choices and inform students if there is a problem. For example, if there is a clash and a choice between two subjects needs to be made. I would like to finish by thanking you all for your time this evening. I hope you have found this presentation useful and that you can use this, along with the range of other information available to you on our Virtual Pathways webpage, to spend some time thinking very carefully about your subject choices for Year 10 and Year 11. Please make sure you spend some time looking carefully at the Pathways booklet and refer closely to the contact page in the booklet 
if you need to speak to a member of staff over the coming days. Best wishes to you all and best wishes to Year 9. Thank you.